All right, we got quite a bit of work lined up today. Uh, I've already started the sanding in here. Got a U-Pole Raptor bed liner kit. I'm going to be putting bed liner inside the tub for the 2010 Patrol. You can see the paint's in pretty bad shape in the tub itself, so I've opted to spray bed liner. I'm actually going to come up and encompass the rim and the hand holds all of this all the way to the outside. Um, going to do that on this one and then also going to do the bottom. I'm also going to be pulling the tub off of the 2008 Tourist and doing the bottom of it and in it the paint's in pretty good condition so I'm only going to be doing the floor on the inside of this one uh, partially because I want to get rid of the mat uh, in here so that my dog can stand uh, directly on a, a grip surface hopefully it'll be good enough for them I won't have to put a mat back in uh, but also to just help weatherproof it you can see there's there's a few rust spots starting here and uh, just want to do that and clean it up so I got quite a bit of work to do today so better turn the camera off and get started all right we got the first sanding done it uh, doesn't look too bad. We've still got a few uh, shiny areas we're going to have to take care of. But uh, looks pretty good. Sanded out everywhere, getting the masking on. Same thing on the 2008 Tourist tub. Uh, we're just doing the bottom here, so it's the only thing being sanded, and then we're going to mask off and touch up sand. But we're not going to be wrapping the rails or anything with it. This paint's in pretty good condition. The patrol's paint was kind of roughed up, so that's the reason why we're only doing the bottom of this one. Well, we're making progress. We got it all taped up. We got the inside all sanded. Uh, I used primer on bare metal that they recommend, and I also use the adhesion promoter. Uh, pretty much in all the high traffic areas, the bottom and the handrails. We're doing the bottom now. Going to get it prepped and then get that tub done. We got it uh, sanded, but we've still got all the tape off to do, and then we got to do the bottom of it too. So a little bit at a time. Well, since I have the fender off, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, bed liner under it too. We've sanded it down and to the point nothing's flaking off. And I've hit it with the bare metal primer. I'll also use some of the adhesion promoter under here uh, around the edges. Hopefully that'll work, figure it can't hurt. We have the bottom of the Patrol's sidecar prepped up, ready to prime, and we'll do adhesion promoter around the edges and uh, have it ready. And then my wife over here is, hello, taping the inside of Ursula's tub, the 2008 Tourist. And what'd you decide to name yours? Pat. Pat, okay, so that's Pat's tub, and this is Ursula's tub. And I'm just going to be doing the bottom up to the edge of the line there in here. And then, of course, underneath we'll do it too. So we'll get this one finished and ready. And I don't know if I'll get to spray them today or not, but uh, we should be able to get them ready today. And then tomorrow, uh, if we don't get to them this evening, tomorrow uh, we'll get the bed liner on here. Well, we ran out of daylight. We got both of them prepped and I just wrapped them up with a uh, plastic drop cloth to keep any heavy dew off of them so it doesn't get the paper wet and just speed things up and tomorrow we'll open them up, last few touches on them and start putting the bed liner on them. But they look good so far. Okay, I wanted to take a minute and explain the preparation that we did everywhere that we're gonna be applying the bed liner. Uh, first, we cleaned it, uh, degreased it using something like Simple Green. And then we sanded it. Uh, it says 80 grit. We actually used 60 grit because I had 60 grit and we just sanded the whole surface. Then I blew it off with air and wiped it down with denatured alcohol. Then we looked at it anywhere we still had glossy paint. We went back with the 60 grit and sanded it. Usually that would be in like these corners or where you can't get that easy and made sure it was all dull. Then we blew that off, wiped it down with denatured alcohol again, repeated if we found shiny spots. Uh, if we didn't, we went ahead and we used uh, this number eight 
uh, acid etch primer is what it's called. That's the gray stuff that you see there. And we made sure that we got that over any bare metal. So when we're sanding, like these uh, edges end up getting exposed. And anywhere we had bare metal, uh, we would hit it with that. Then we would come back and this uh, grip is actually, they tell you that it's for anywhere that you can't sand well. So like if it is glossy, like especially these edges would be uh, somewhere I can't sand in there. So you'd want to, to spray this. But since we're, we're doing specifically these two sidecars and there's plenty here and to err on the side of, you know, I want to make sure this stuff sticks. I've pretty much been putting this everywhere and it's clear. It goes on uh, kind of like a, a thin clear lacquer almost. You just uh, spray it over it. It dries clear and it's supposed to promote the adhesion. Now it has a, a very solvent smell to it and I can tell it's getting into the paint. And this should be applied last uh, over any primer that you put down because this you want to make sure gets contact with the material that you're applying. So that's our preparation steps. We're now ready to spray. It's a bit windy out here, gusty. Uh, it dies down and it'll stop blowing for five, ten minutes and then it'll pick up again. So I'm going to try to spray between wind gusts as much as I can and get the bed liner on here. So let's get this done. such thing as this nice even strokes in here. It's too crowded. I have discovered if you want to lean the gun, lean it to the right because there's a hole here. You can't lean it to the left. Well, we got this tub done. The other one's done. We wrapped it up to protect it from overspray. This one had more done to it. 
So we're about to start peeling tape off and get it cleaned up, see what it looks like. Okay, for the screw holes, uh, actually these were 3 16 roughly, so I took a 3 16 inch wooden dowel, which was just a little too big, and just screwed them in, forming threads on the dowel, and screwed that in and sprayed. Now that the tape and everything's coming off, I can just unscrew these. It's been on here about 20, 25 minutes. I can unscrew these and leave a nice clean hole to put the hardware back on. It is already dry to the touch. So all we got to do now is let it cure, but I think it turned out pretty good. You see the inside, it's, it is, doesn't seem to be tacky anywhere. I don't want to challenge it, but it's dry to the touch. I think it looks good. Come sit with me. You say heavy man? Yeah, come here. You see what I did for you? I got all this black stuff on my hand because of you. I put bed liner in your tub so that I can take that mat out and you'll have somewhere you can stand and grip in the sidecar tub. <laughs> We got the tubs bed linered on the bottom down there and see how it wrapped over the lip. Turned out pretty good. A little bit thinner in a few places, uh, but I erred on the side of making it a little too thin because I was repeatedly warned not to make it too thick on the application or you'd have a problem with it curing and peeling off. So I could probably clean this up and do a second coat, but I, I'm okay with it. And we did this one too on Ursula. You can see we undercoated the bottom. And I did, uh, like I showed you, where those uh, bushings go is not undercoated with bed liner. Left that clear. Put a little tape on it and then peeled it off. And of course, the inside's done. We've already been riding in it. And I didn't go all the way up and wrap this one. Just kind of. Did a line there and it turned out real good. Turned out real good. So we're we're happy with the results. We'll let you know if we have any trouble with it, but it uh, looks like it's holding on pretty good. It's uh, been about a week now. It's fully cured, nice and solid, and it's not going anywhere. It doesn't seem to give to the fingernail anymore. So I think we're good.